tonight. I'm Ralphie Tonelli, and I like to f plants. No. <laughs> You've never vibed with me. You know me. what? I've never vibed with you. I've never you. vibed. On the Magic School Bus reunion. What the hell is that? Is Open it? Up. Ah! Open up. Do you think you'll ever take your helmet off in space again? No, because I won't ever go to space again because I'm not supposed to be in space! Good! Good! Seatbelts, everyone, and welcome to the Magic School Bus Reunion. I'm your host, Donnie Buttons. With me today, I have Walkerville's finest, Dorothy Ann, Arnold, Wanda Lee, Ralphie, Miss Frizzle, and of course, Liz. Well, with us in spirit and sort of in body. So, everyone, it's been years since the show. Let's get a quick update from everyone. Dorothy Ann, you wanna start? Yes, I've been thriving. I have three kids, naturally immunized. I've learned so much. You know, I've been doing a lot of my own research and finding that everything that Miss Frizzle kind of thought was helpful education, it maybe was behind at the time. But I went to nursing school, dropped out of nursing school, and pursued my own medicine. Exciting. Uh, Arnold? Yeah, I'm Arnold. You guys know me. Uh, ever since the show, I've had a lot of medical issues I've been dealing with. Um, if you don't know, there's been a couple episodes that were aired where a bus was inside of me. Yes. You know, I took a helmet off outside in space without a adult telling me not to. <laughs> now I'm doing, you know, local community theater. Uh, I play the fiddle in a Fiddler on the Roof. It's on Pico. The yeah. fiddle? The fiddle. You've ever heard of Fiddler on the Roof? If I was a rich girl. You <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Thank you so much, Arnold. Uh, Wanda Lee. Hi, it's so good to be here at the Paris Agreement. Um, so I've been jumping and breaking every ceiling in the world. Um, because famously, your character jumps on the show. Yes, and now I just jump through glass ceilings. I disrupted the airplane industry. I actually started my own airline called Air Force Wanda, where we um, jump into the plane and not out of the plane. It's pretty cool. Ralphie, how are you doing over there? I'm good, Johnny. My name's Ralphie Tonelli, and I had so much fun with Miss Frizzle and my friends when we were going on adventures that I never stopped going on adventures. Miss Frizzle taught me that you don't learn anything from books and from sitting down and, and studying. You learn it from going out and getting experience. What's gooder than that? Uh, Miss Frizzle, where have you yeah, been? I've had better days, but uh, recently I've been doing uh, celebrity bus tours. Oh. The traditional uh, celebrity bus tour, you take people on a bus yep. and drive them around to celebrities' homes. I took it a step further, we get in my magical bus, and we go inside celebrities. Wow. Oh. We shrink I'm down, and we go in, literally into a celebrity. Wow, uh, any celebrities we know? Do you know Dante Bosco? I can't say that I do. Wasn't he um, in Peter Pan? Yes. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Two points to you, Wanda. Also, Clay Aiken. We went. Oh, yes. Right in. Yeah. Runner up of American Idol season two. <sighs> Whoa. So, when's the last time you all saw each other? Well, it's been honestly since the class, since I've seen everyone. I've been emailing them on my Macintosh. Uh, the same one from back in the day. Oh. I, I've kept it up, I, I've kept it working, and uh, but nobody's responded. Ever since I became a Hollywood elite, I have not seen any of these people. Last time I saw them was at graduation, though I did keep up with Carlos. He's come to a couple of my local theater shows. Of yeah, course. What's Carlos sweet. up to now? Uh, he does civil rights law. Wow. Yeah, it's actually really dope. It's like pro bono work. That's He's a great a guy. That's not a real wow. job. I took you children inside a bone once. I remember. You had a lot of fun. You were in me! Oh. Yeah. We did go inside Arnold, and we went inside me, too. Yeah, Arnold right. and I have been inside of each other. It's yeah. awesome. We have. Now, we what, have. what child has had that sort of experience before? Exactly, Join I learned you. so much from that. I, I know had... that bones are like crazy looking. Nobody has been inside of me in a quite a long time. Well, someone had to for your boob job. <gasps> Yeah, can we Are all we... talk about the, the elephant in the room? <laughs> is Wanda's breasts are Wait. magnificent. Ah, really? I got nervous that there was an actual elephant. Wow, just like in the old days, right, Miss Frizzle? I, too, saw you guys at graduation last, but I immediately pursued medical school, nursing yes. school, because I just needed to 
research things for myself. You know, it was a troubling education that we had. And how's that panned out for you? Oh, it's been great. I've learned so much. Do you know garlic is a natural antibiotic? Honey is good for allergies. Amethysts are great for depression. <laughs> It's incredible the things. Do you want any essential oils? I can tell you're really stressed. Yeah, and your touch isn't helping. Okay. You know, as someone who has diagnosed anxiety, I don't think amethyst would help me. Well, have you tried it? You know, I haven't. Okay. Maybe I should try amethyst. That might help. Okay. Do okay. we have some amethyst here? Oh, there it is. It's actually really cold and sorry, it's so Why don't we go inside Arnold? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, no. Let's go inside Arnold! No, 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 no Leaded diesel. <laughs> Leaded diesel. I have IBS now. That stands for internal bus syndrome. Didn't you have that before as well? No, that one was irritable bowel syndrome. Uh, I, see, I see, I see. And that's the thing too. She shrunk down an entire bus full of children and put it into somebody's bodies. Mm. Can you imagine what else they're trying to put into our bodies? That's what you need to do your own research. Did oh your um, like, did your parents sign any waivers for these trips? There was a permission slip, but it it was very vague. I remember. I, yeah, I hid a lot of stuff in the in the fine print. Anything you'd like to share that you hid? Um, that will shrink you and put children in you and. There I was, for one um read the fine print and I was totally okay with it. You read in the fine print that we weren't allowed to talk about our experiences on the show for thirty one years. I was fine with it. Where are the other students? The class was a lot more. Like we have, we know where Carlos is. Mm -hmm. uh, where's Keisha? Har I'm harvesting her. I'm harvesting her. No, I heard you. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, do you care to elaborate a little bit on that? Well, I'm harvesting her organs. Oh. So oh. I can use it in my STEM research. She passed. No, she's alive. Oh my god. <laughs> you do STEM research? She is ta very well taken care of and so is her family. And where's Tim? He's got the Tim Tim shuffle out. <laughs> But that was a couple years That's ago. Right. I don't know. Ooh. It was a couple years ago. Didn't he was you date? Very well, big yes, on Vine. Yes, Tim and I had a fling. He wrote a love song for me called "Jump for Love," because mm. I'm always jumping. Jumping, yes. Yeah. How did it go again? I can't remember how that went. Well, I can't sing it because it's copywritten. Yeah. Uh, and I trademarked it. Well, then it's yours. So I would. Yeah, I think I would yours, love yes. if you could um, she would have to sing a little bit for us on the show. I can only verses. do that on my network. Oh, I'm actually getting that we're switching networks to your network. So it'd be great if you would just uh, sing a little bit for us. One second. No. Bravo dropped us? Fine. I will sing a little bit of Jump for Love. J, U, M, P, F, O, R, L, O, V. You guys can't sing it. I said it was popular. She didn't say that. She didn't say that. And Phoebe. No. From Friends. No. No. She joined the Peace Corps. I mean, she's doing things. Whoa, that's like the one below the crust. <laughs> and Arnold, your cousin Janet, she was on the show sometimes. How is she? Oh, she's doing great. Yeah. Yeah, she's actually, uh, she just won an award. Oh, for what? Uh, world's bitchiest pharmacist. <laughs> yeah. Great. That's she works at a Walgreens. Her. Awesome. I miss her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no one's asking me about Bella. Who is Bella? <laughs> My bullfrog. That I brought, episode eight. I you didn't that. want her on your desk. I was gonna get warts or worse, a corn. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? I don't know if any of you remember on the show, but in that footage you can tell I was a very good student. I was working very hard, and for some reason I still got half as far. Anybody have any answers to that? No, but I have an answer as to why you were banned on Facebook. No. What do you say we go inside? No. Arnold! No. Arnold! Yeah! No, we're not I'm, doing that. Not on I'm the show. tired of hearing. You can't keep doing. Are you still doing this to children? I hope I you plead are. The fifth. Guys, okay, Ralphie, teaching is her um, passion. Mm -hmm. Ralphie, uh, in our pre-interview, yeah. you said you were a freelancer. That's right. So, what exactly do you do? It's the same with what Miss Frizzle taught us: is that experience is all that matters. Mm. And so, anything that has any sort of 
written words on it, mm -hmm. you're not gonna learn anything from that. You need to be out in the world. I, I'm a freelancer in so many ways. I, for one, I'll go to the public pool, and for that day, I'm a lifeguard. And then I'll go to the Renaissance Fair, and for that day, I am a Lancer. Wow. I am a freelancer. Oh. And then I will go to, uh, uh, I'll, I'll just walk up to like a Sabaro and be like, mm -hmm. hey, I can make sandwiches today. And I go wherever I'm needed. Interesting. Um, I'm uh, sensing I... that you have an aversion to words. Would you mind uh, reading what's on this card? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ralphie, I'd love for you to read what's on this card. Yeah, I can read. Okay. <laughs> Nice joke, Bobby. Yay. I learned actually a lot about his line of work on the History Channel. It's yeah. actually a secret society. The, the, the freelancers? The freelancers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They go all the way back to George Washington. Yeah. It's on the back of the dollar. Clearly it's just like what George Washington research, always said, cause... I have a dream. Thank you for that, Ralph. I'm thinking I didn't take you back in time enough. <laughs> <laughs> we went back to ancient Egypt and I saw mummy. <gasps> The bus has a lot of capabilities. It seems it can go sh shrink down, and go into yeah. people. It can go back in time. Where is the bus? Where is the bus? Where is the bus? And I'm actually getting word that the bus is outside right now. Can we pull it up on the monitors? <gasps> yeah. Oh. Home wow. sweet home. That, that's rough. You did not take very good care of that thing. Oh, but it's it's a labor of love. Next question comes from Brenda on Twitter. Looking back, what were some of your favorite adventures and least favorite adventures from the classroom? One was when everyone went inside of me. I was homesick and I was like, man, I'm so bummed to not go on an adventure today. Mm -hmm. But they came to my house and drove the bus into my body. And they made me not sick anymore, even though my white blood cells tried to kill them. I, I'd like to follow up with just maybe a least favorite episode sure. that I'm sure we all remember. Because how could you forget? How could you forget when we went to space, we went to the moon? Oh yes. Yeah. That was a great time, wasn't yeah, it? Wasn't it, that kids? That was awesome. Why would you not tell a child to leave their helmet on? That's the first rule of space. You, you, you have to get messy! <laughs> My head froze solid, and oh, now yes. if I'm in a room that is lower than 70 degrees, I get chronic brain freezes. Well, Arnold, do you think you'll ever take your helmet off in space again? No, because I won't ever go to space again because I'm not supposed to be in space! Good! Okay. Good! I'm actually- Good! You know your place! Design? Uh, Miss Frizzle, you've actually found yourself in quite a messy media circus. Yes, well, there's a lot that, uh, don't agree with my practices. Oh, mm. uh, they're just saying that it was abusive and exploitative. But they're learning! Mm. Uh, let's get a show of hands. Who's pro-frizz on these couches? And who's anti-frizz? <laughs> Dorothy Ann, uh, why are you anti-frizz? I loved when you were teaching us things, but mm. It was so dangerous, what you were putting us through. The only reason I can be grateful for what I learned with you is because I learned how wrong all of it was and mm -hmm. led me on my own path to Strangely, pursue my own research. Strangely, you never learned research. to shut the f up. <laughs> Arnold, uh, how are you doing over there? I'm not doing well. Yeah. And you said you were anti-frizz. Uh, yes. Look, she put a lot of children at risk, but most importantly, she put me at risk. I have lifelong debilitating diseases now. Why are you looking at me like that? What do you mean? Why are you so obsessed with children? I'm not obsessed with Why children. Why are you so obsessed with children, Arnold? I'm not, when I was a child, a, a horrible traumatic event happened to me actually several times. Arnold, Arnold, calm down. Hold on to Liz. I don't want oh, Liz! Liz. Liz! I don't want Liz! Oh! Oh! oh. 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 You son of a bitch! Just go back in the fucking time! Look what you've done! Look what you've done! I'm sorry! I'm sorry, just don't go in me! Arnold. You need to remember what Amelia Earhart said. Oh. Mm -hmm. I believe the children are the future. Shit. <laughs> and that's my favorite Amelia Earhart quote. Followed by, ah! <laughs> <laughs> Ralphie, you seem to know a lot about Amelia Earhart, which makes sense, understanding that you're- Cause we both flew everywhere. And you're out and about about your sexuality. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you wanna talk about that a little? I'm Ralphie Tonelli and I like to f Plants. No. <laughs> what? No. What? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, talk a little bit more about it, I guess. <laughs> so, basically, through all of our adventures and everything, and traveling inside of stuff, and traveling all over, I realized at a certain point that I really feel a strong connection to plants. Okay. What kind uh, of connection? I, I'm sorry. I, what? Like, I get boners for plants. <laughs> I was also going through puberty during the time of all of our adventures. And so it probably just made a bunch of like 
stuff yeah. go differently. So I'm kind of like those avatar creatures. No follow-up questions from me on that. No. Oh, yeah. Do you think you... the bust inside of you might have done something? I'm just wondering, because for me, the bust inside of me had a lot of lasting effects. Do you think maybe that did something with your hormones? I don't know, maybe. I did feel you guys bouncing around my head a bunch. Are you currently <laughs> seeing a plant now? Well, yeah. She's a palm. Aww. <laughs> And now, a word from our sponsor. The holiday season is upon us once again. And here at Smosh, that means something special. <laughs> and we're back. Miss Frizzle, mm. one of the longest threads on Reddit right now is, Miss Frizzle, is she magic? There's no magic. It's just science. Yeah. That's right. The bus right. is powered by an unshielded nuclear reactor. Oh my god. Yeah. I guess I should have told you all that. We found mm. out. So it's not magic, it's just, it's uh, nuclear energy. But Miss Frizzle, you avoided all legal fallout. How did you do that? When you have a bus that could shrink down into a small size, mm -hmm. and then suddenly get big, you have a lot of leverage. I know you went on a lot of field trips that were never aired. Are there any that stick out to you that you'd like to discuss? One time we went back in time to watch a play in the 1800s. Oh, wow. It was awesome. And we saw Abraham Lincoln for a little bit. I tried to stop John Wilkes Booth and Miss Frizzle wouldn't let me. She held me and made me watch. Because of the, the butterfly effect. With the same look, this look is... <laughs> she looked me in the eyes and watched the reflection of Abraham Lincoln be assassinated off of my pupils. Okay. I was nine! I would give anything to see that again. <laughs> Sometimes she wouldn't really even explain where we were going. She would just say, seat belts, and then we'd shrink, and then suddenly we're in some literally different country. Yeah. yeah. And it was because it was like, a, what, $8.75 for the parents' permission slip? Sorry. You students paid out of pocket for these trips? Field, that's how field trips work. You have to pay a ticket. That is not how field trips work. It is. Yeah. How many trips do you think you went on? Well, with inflation, it's gone up. Yeah, it's gone up. Yeah. I had to buy a bus pass. She made me pay like a whole year up front. What? I'm just like not vibing with this right now. <laughs> with me? Yeah. You've Why? never vibed with me. You know me. what? Why am I sitting on the side of the couch? I should be sitting over there. You're Jump over there. Go ahead. Go ahead, Wanda. Okay. Join our side, just like the revolution. Seat's taken. <laughs> oh. It's all a ploy. Oh. She can't oh, no. even bend oh her knees gosh. more oh, than no. that. Oh my gosh, oh no, Liz's tail. Are there any other unrequited stories here, relationships I should know about? <gasps> Wanda, you lost your, you lost virginity. I lost my virginity to all of you and a bus. <laughs> Two times. You went in my butt, out my dick, the second time in my dick, out my butt. Listen, a lot of bad came out of this show. A lot of bad, mm. but some good. And I understand we have a special guest here with us. It's another student, let's bring him out. Oh. Uh, Who the hell is that? It's- Oh, uh, you're such a jokester, Dorothy, and it's Gustav. Gustav Belvins. Belvins, I was in the year before all you guys. Uh, uh, man. I'm, I bet, I, it's crazy how you've all grown. I guess we all did pretty well for ourselves, huh? I remember you guys giving advice. I was like, hey, when we go on the Bumblebee tour, you gotta be careful. They're gonna teach you how to dance, but they're gonna expect you to work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bees. I forgot about the bees. <laughs> yeah, uh, so, uh, Miss Frizzle, I gotta say, you know, it's, it's pretty cool to see you here. Uh, you're kind of my white whale. Uh, I've been looking for you for a while. I want to say uh, thank you, because you uh, inspired me to get into uh, systems, you know, whether it was a plant system or going inside a computer, but uh, specifically now, the legal system. Look at me, I did, I'm a lawyer. I did pretty well for myself. What are you doing here? Oh, I actually have a gift for you. <gasps> What's that? Oh, you think it's in the briefcase? Nah, I just got that from Kohl's. <laughs> Can you believe it? All right, uh, hold on. Sorry about this, Arnie. All right, grab this for you. I drew you a little picture. I'm sure you'll remember this from back in the day. It was all of our adventures together. You've been served. Oh, sh Okay, just take it. Yes, she took it. Yes, that counts. You said you wanted to apologize, then what better time than now? Oh. Great. Uh, well, then I would just like to say seatbelts, everyone! <gasps> oh my god, she shrunk! She shrunk! Oh my god, she shrunk! Oh my god, she Oh my god. Where is she? Whoa. 
Stop my Stop 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 Stop